Gambia acclaimed rapper and social activist Killer Ace returned to the country at the beginning of the year from Ezra in Senegal after almost two years. He was received by a crowd of fans and has found lots of new tax in the new democratic country. As far as democracy in Gambia, it's, it's good news that we've elevated from dictatorship to democracy. But um, there's a lot of concerns attached to the Gambian democracy. There's selective democracy where people, you know, speak the truth only when it favors them instead of being, you know, saying general with it. Um, and I think that there's a lot of civic education needed on how to safeguard democracy and how to make sure that the dem democracy takes us towards the right direction. He says he's not absolutely impressed with the administration and how it is functioning, adding that there are a lot of policies that have to be changed. If you look at the administration, I think we need more capable people in the ministries, he said. As far as like justice and democracy, it's at its baby in its first stages. Uh, luckily, we can say whatever we want, but as far as the system is concerned, the same security people that were under Jami are still around, and they still have the same negative mind state, you know, of approach. He says one of the most critical recent things in the country is discrimination among Gambians in the tourist sector. He says Gambians are harassed for entry the tourist areas. I have a bigger task than Yaya Jami, you know, the task of sensitizing people on civic education and awareness of social responsibility, of keeping the government accountable, the fight of fighting tribalism because there's tribalist politics in Gambia which could lead to other things like xenophobia in the long run. The musician calls on Gambians to have a change on how they treat each other. Hey.